What's up guys, Mohammed Abdullah here. The initial scores for the upcoming Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 are here in this video. Let's compare it to the Apple A13 Bionic chip which is powering the iPhone 11 series. By the way, the Snapdragon 865 will be powering the Samsung Galaxy S11 series as well as the Note 11 series and also the OnePlus 8 series. Before moving on to the differences, let's just quickly go over the similarities. Or should I say the similarity because there is just mainly one. They are both based on the 7 nanometer EUV process. Now on to the main part where we discuss the Geekbench scores. Well, the Apple A13 Bionic gets a single core Geekbench score of around 5800. In comparison, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus is expected to get a score of around 4200. We see an even smaller difference when it comes to the multi-core scores as the Apple A13 Bionic gets a multi-core Geekbench score, Geekbench score, 4 score actually of around 18,800 in comparison and contrast, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 is expected to get a score of around 13,300. There is still a big difference, but its impact is decreasing every single year as the percentage difference in performance is decreasing. These scores do show us some things. One of those is that if you are going to load some heavy applications or do some video or photo editing on your smartphone, the Apple A13 Bionic is going to come out on top every single time. It's arguably the fastest processor out in the mobile consumer market. These scores also show us one more thing, that is how far ahead Apple really is from its competition. I mean, the Apple A13 Bionic is a 6 core processor having just 2 high performance scores and 4 low performance scores. In comparison, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 is going to be an 8 core processor having 4 high performance scores, 2 of which will be overclocked and 4 low performance scores which give it a boost in the multi-core Geekbench performance or the benchmark multi-core performance or the multi-core benchmark performance really. Anyways, those were all my thoughts. Let me know yours with a comment down below and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.